Hi, my beloved masculine. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. And also for the Divine Feminine, of course, who wants to look into the energy of the Divine Masculine. Back in Avalon, back in my energy, back in prosperity, the sun was shining and it's still shining today for the fourth day and for a lot of you, you are in winter time, in snow, I hear, you know, snow in the Netherlands. I hope you all had a really nice Easter. And let's see what's going on in the Divine Masculine's mind space. Filling his cup, filling his cup and opening all um, new possibilities. There are so many options, there are so many things to do, there are so many projects that uh, he wants to work out. And uh, he is starting with it, he is starting to work on his uh, condition, on his. Um, on his food, on his, on his health, working on his health, but also uh, communicating with uh, the Divine Feminine is one of his priorities. So he is, um, he don't want to abandon the Divine Feminine. So he is coming in with communication about his project, about what he is doing, about what he wants for his future and he wants to involve her in this and um, he wants her view, he wants her uh, meaning, he wants her advice on, on things and he is uh, changing his environment um, to keep himself occupied but also upgrading everything to, to build and he is um, seeking for the truth and the softness and the, and the silence within so he can be in balance. And that's, that's the main thing for the Divine Masculine at the moment. So there are many projects for him to open up and and doors that will open up if that's uh, if that's where his mind is his mind is on all the new things that he wants to provide for himself okay what's in his how does he see the divine feminine that the divine feminine has everything that she wants in her life, that all her cups are full, that uh, the only thing uh, what's lacking is the cup of the Divine Masculine. And he knows this and he sees this. And he sees she's happy, she knows that she can take care of her herself, that she is in a flow, that the Divine Feminine is on his mind that that everything he desires is within her and that he has the cup the only cup that is left to make it a total to make it a new okay what says his higher self his higher self saying you know this is over this is the end it's clear i'm not going back um, his higher self is saying it's over, uh, I probably won't see her again. Um, and he thinks it's the end, but there's a new beginning for him. 
there's a new beginning for him to start uh, all over again. It's a, it's also a, a, a blank slate, you know, to, to start all okay. over again. Okay, dit heb ik op het web gevonden. Oh Voor is er iets als een blank slate. Blah, 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 blah. Kijk maar eens. Oh, this is so stupid. That's my other phone. It's... <laughs> I'm doing it all the time. I forget to put off my Dutch phone. And then Siri is on. And Siri is going to look for all the things that I'm 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 saying. So it's coming online and say, oh, I'm looking on the web for you and I found this. It's really hilarious. Okay, so, but this is how he sees it. He sees it at the end and a new beginning. He probably is hurt by it, you know? He's probably hurt by it. It could be that, um, you know, that he is giving his answers and, and give his, his um, change the way he's thinking about things. Could be that there is an ending of a relationship that wasn't fulfilling for him. And that, um, you know, that that in this, this situation, he has a feeling that he lost everything. And he lost maybe his divine feminine, but he also, uh, you know, it could be that he didn't want to hurt the divine feminine, but there is no other way, I hear. There's no other way. Um, you know, to end things and um, his focus is on the future. It could be that he is that he ended a relationship um, that that it's really over and done with that relationship. Okay, that's. And that's what his higher self saying, you know, his higher self saying, you know, this is the end. This is, you can't move forward because there are too many, many other things, too many other projects. Uh, you're going to another, to another period, another life. It could be that he already got so many answers of the universe about, you know, being stuck, not moving on. Uh, things not moving, um, feeling blocked, feeling uh, restricted. And all these things that is the universe telling you that you need to move forward. You know, that you need to work on yourself, that you put yourself first. And that then that, you know, if that's also in a being in a relationship that doesn't work, and you feel that there is no no progress you know you need to break free you need to get out of that because you know the universe wants you to evolve you know wants you to grow and if you are making that step you know then you're you are moving up forward and new things will come come your way where you will be more happier in and his higher self knows it. His higher self knows that it's it's over. What's in his heart space? Communication. In his heart space, there's this communication that he needs to communicate this to his divine feminine. You know, uh, I don't want you to have any hope or I don't want you... Uh, to feeling hurt, but I have a feeling this is not going anywhere. Um, I feel stuck, you know. Um, we're, we're, we're not on the same level, you know. If, if we want to have a future together, everything needs to flow. I need to be free in, uh, in, an, in a relationship where I can communicate myself, where, when I can put myself open, where I can open my heart and not be guarded all the time. So 
that's what's in his heart space. And, and he knows that these two birds, you know, you know, understand each other. They, they just have to look at each other and they know what they see. They know what they feel. They know what they mean without too many words. And that's the, that's the crown on his work. You know, the, the crown on his work is following, following his intuition and following his higher self and following what the universe is telling him. Okay. What does his higher self want from the Divine Feminine? So what does his higher self want from the Divine Feminine? So the higher self says to him, you know, you need to end it. You need to end this relationship because it keeps you stuck. And what is, is his higher self telling him about the Divine Feminine. She is his Empress. That he knows already that uh, she is the woman that he wants to grow old with. That uh, she is the one who is fulfilling all his dreams. That she is connected with spirit, but also from the earth. That she is both ways. That she is uh, his divine feminine. That is lifting him up. That is letting him feel what life is all about. That it isn't being stuck, but going in flow. And giving him all what, what he desires. So his higher self says, go to your empress. You know who your woman is that you want to grow old with. You know, you know who um, that energy is that you want to have in your life. And follow it. She is the one who's giving birth. Giving birth to creativity. Giving birth to new environments, giving birth to action, giving birth to creativity. So she is, um, I hear giving birth um, in every way. You know, she let you feel uh, happy and young again and admired. You, 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 the Divine Masculine doesn't know half how the Divine Feminine admires him. And his higher self says, you know, if you only knew uh, how she thinks about you, you won't think less of yourself. Okay? She will always lift you up. She will always tell you the truth. If she will tell you the truth, if you need to change things in your, in your environment for yourself, for your highest good, she will tell you. And that's not coming from her ego. That's coming and it's channeled by the divine. Okay. How does he seize the relationship with her? Let's see, how does he sees the relationship? Not his higher self, but how he sees it from his heart of his ego space. Balance. There is balance in this relationship. Um, she let go of all the things in the past. And that gives her balance. She let go of... Um, the past, she let go, she's not talking about the past, she is not revealing anything from the past, she is over it. She said, that's a ship gone by, and that will bring her imbalance. 
because when she is in balance nothing else will will change you know uh, and she's moving up and down you know her money is in balance her body is in balance and uh, that's how she wants the relationship to be she wants a, a balanced relationship with the divine masculine not one that's going up and down and have a lot of drama in 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 its life and not that's one uh, created out of fear and creating out of control she just wants to flow and go in harmony with with that energy so she admires more balance than uh, anything else so that's how he sees the divine feminine and the relationship that he wants to be balanced and um and the divine feminine let go of all the old parts so now that the divine feminine let go of all the old and and ships gone by and she let the ships go um, now he sees that she he can be in balance with himself and towards her you know that's what he wants in the relationship with her balance no drama no influences nothing else you know because the outside world is always creating drama okay what is blocking him the journey within the journey within that's um that's a block within himself being afraid you know to to go back to the childhood being afraid to uh, solve the hurt because of the hurt uh, he is he's want to shine his light um to the light and not from the darkness you know but there is no growth without the darkness you know uh, we're all going through the dark night of the soul sometimes and sometimes the divine masculine is 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 in that darkness of the soul uh, multiple times in his life because if he just wants to go to the light and just shine the light and go into that light and be the light and uh, wanting to stay there you know that's impossible because there is no not only light there's also a, a piece of darkness and the darkness that will um when you come out of the darkness the more light there will be you know i've been to the dark night of the soul um uh, this this winter time you know and it was now i'm coming out of the dark of the dark night of the soul and it's it's like you know in being reborn again and and now i'm i'm in a transitioning here so you know that's also for the divine masculine you know your own your divine masculine within yourself that is getting balanced out with with the divine feminine within you know how wants how will he solve all this you know what is going to do about this how is going to solve this Being on his own, building a house, building new projects, and holding on to his money or holding on to the past. You know, he is uh, being, um, he's being, he was very, very generous, very generous towards the divine feminine. And now it's time for him uh, to find out which direction he really wants to go you know i want to save money maybe he needs to save money to to travel towards her or to make his house ready or uh, to repair a car or you know all the things that he needs to do that he didn't that he wasn't able to do because the time that he had left went to the divine feminine and now when the divine feminine is is gone and he gave her all the attention and um now it's time 
to to do this for for himself you know it's maybe now that the divine feminine is out of his life you know he can start all new projects that he really wanted to do and um and holding it with, with as less money uh, less money that is needed you know and maybe he's saving for a new house maybe he's sa saving for a travel and um, there are so many things that that are going through the mind of the divine masculine you know maybe um i need to earn some more money because otherwise i don't have to offer my divine feminine anything i want to offer her a good life you know and and i don't know if i have enough to to offer her all the things and um that's not what what it's all about the divine feminine divine feminine <clears throat> is only interested in one thing and that is his love and his attention and um a good communication and when he is um focusing on money then he's focusing on um, maybe on the things that he don't have yet but can come in the future you know so that's what's going on and that he wants to solve he wants to solve it with 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 money what will it bring him What will it bring to the Divine Masculine? Wow. All of this will, will bring him in more quickly than he ever thought. He is ready to move forward. This is the fastest night in the deck. You know, he is planning, he is thinking, he is overthinking. He is making a timeline and he's saying, I'm moving forward. This is the direction I want to go. And this is where I need to go because that's where I want to be. And I'm going to get it. I'm not wasting any time. I'm, I'm working on it and I'm going to get it. Okay. Where is his focus at the moment? Yeah. His focus is on the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune in the sense of being in the center and taking the wheel in his own hands. Everything from the outside is uh, being removed. And now he's taking the sun into his heart, in his, into his center space, and he will stay there. He will stay in that center space. And it could be that he's praying or meditating, uh, taking time for himself, being in silent, uh, you know, connecting with uh, the silence around him, within him, contemplating, and knowing that he needs to, that the abundance will come to him. Um, and that he knows that the wheel of fortune um, will be on the other side, you know, will be within. Okay. Where does he want the relation to go with the divine feminine? He wants to have it all with the Divine Feminine. He wants to have everything. The love, the connection, the communication, um, the earnings. And he's going to manifest it. This is um, where he wants to go. He wants to have it all. He wants to have the balance he wants to have the love. He wants to have the action, the love and the passion. He wants to have the money. He wants to have the grounding. 
to feel the earth underneath his feet. The real world as it is in his perception. He is ready for a new journey in his life. He is ready to take it on. How does he feel on this union? That it needs to be centered, that it needs to be moving forward, that it needs to be in balance, that it is to be supported from the universe. No, if there's no balance, the black horse will want to go right and the white horse wants to go left. And you're going in no direction. You know, there's just a struggle because it gets the chariot out of balance. And when you let go and let the horses run free, they will show you the way where to go. Without control, in flow, without any expectations of going left or going right without any confusion, moving ahead to their destination. And that's where he wants, and that's how he feels on the union. There he wants to go. He is coming forward. And it's time to get out of the darkness and moving ahead. Could be that he wants to move. Could be that there is a travel coming up. You know, could be that uh, he totally needs to recuperate of, of the Divine Feminine leaving, you know. So, that's what's going on. That's how he feels on the Union. What combines them? What combines the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? Relationship, house, celebration, children, building a new house, peace, um, having fun, good communication, passion, love, commitment. Um, that's it. Making ready to see if the Divine Feminine is ready for a relationship in freedom, in love, in harmony, in passion. And he wants this with her. He wants to make a choice because he knows that in the environment he is in now, you know, he's missing her. You know, he can do without her. He can do without her being uh, on his projects and fulfilling the projects but in his heart space, there is the willingness to communicate, to move forward with her, to know where she's standing, to know how she's feeling. And the two doves, you know, connecting together and fly off to a better place. So that's what he wants, to celebrate, to celebrate life with her. And that's, that is what combines them both, you know? And what will bring them together? What will bring the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine together? Two cards. Defending. Defending the house, defending what's theirs, defending what there is, and keeping everything outside. So it could mean keeping the drama out, keeping uh, uh, third-party energies out, 
it could be filling up their own cup first and uh, drinking from both the from all the cups you know drinking from this cup filling all that both of them need to fill their own cup first before they can drink of the third cup you know so it needs it's it this reading is is all about balance coming back in balance out of transitioning out of um out of the darkness so we're going into the sunlight now we're going into the fire we're going into new action things are are started to bloom you know uh, it's you feel it in your system that you want to take action that you want to do things and that you are preparing yourself for uh for what what's what's coming and staying in the now because that's the huge part of it so staying in the now staying in the center of your heart space knowing where where you're doing it for okay so keeping everything out all the drama all the heartache all the fights keeping it out to celebrate life to make a party out of your life to to go and do the things that your heart needs to fulfill you know and it could be drink the cup of love you know um, about uh, celebrate the passion together celebrate the love celebrate life celebrate the silence celebrate the difference accept each other how you are don't try to change the other person and sometimes it takes time to realize that that's that that that's the key you know we're all different but you know acceptance is is the first step well guys this was it for this week and uh, that is bringing them together you know uh, guarding and taking 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 everything from the outside uh, world You know that wants to fight i i hear that wants to fight everything that wants to fight leaving it behind leaving it let it go it's done with the fighting okay so thank you all let me know if it resonates with you if you want uh, your private reading for your divine masculine you want to know where your relationship is going ahead, um, what is uh, turning up for your Divine Masculine, what's going ahead where you are blocked and you can change the things. So if you are healing and changing the things within yourself, so your Divine Masculine will change within them. So if you're on this journey, on the Twin Flame journey, and let it open up, Everything that you need is in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here and, you know, feeling the, the energies of Avalon. And I wish you all the best. And my gratitude for you for watching and following me. Um, I'm so happy with that because it means that I can be of service. And that's my main job, to be of service. Um, to you all as spirit guides me as the universe put me in this spot um, to do what I needed to do so and I'm so grateful for it bye bye see you all have a great time bye